You guys ever wondered what has more kinetic energy? A heavy arrow, say 705 grains. Medium heavy arrow at uh, 505. Or a light arrow at 373. I've got a chronograph set up right here. Shooting a Prime RevX 4. We're gonna start out with the light arrow here. This bow is 29 and a half inch draw, 70 pounds, but it's a little under, it's like 69. 329 with a 373 grain arrow. 279. Now I've got the target set behind there such that the arrow will not hit the target before it exits the chronograph. Let's try the big boy. 245. So I'm gonna measure them all and make sure because these are all bear shafts. The reason I shot bear shaft is I wanna make sure that the bow is tuned. Now I did shoot the 505 twice because this arrow here did not get a reading. From those numbers that we got there from the chronograph, found something kind of interesting. The kinetic energy, it's almost the same for every arrow. For the light arrow, the 364.4 grains, 87.5 foot pounds. For the medium arrow, 507.2, we had 87.58 foot pounds. For the heavy arrow, which was 666.4 grains, not 705, that was 88.73 foot-pounds. I didn't expect nearly the same kinetic energy on every arrow system. I tried to figure out why. Why are we seeing this kind of constant energy? And it turns out when you get into it, when you really look at what's going on, it's pretty simple. If we look at how does the bow give energy to the arrow, it's the draw cycle. Well, that type of energy transfer is called work. The work the bow does on the arrow is, is, it's actually just the force the string puts to the arrow times the distance that the string acts on the arrow. You'll hear it actually called power stroke a lot. And that's just the distance, if you think from your string when it's hitting the string stop to when you're at full draw, it's that distance of travel of the string. And the force we know, that's the, the force curve, right? The, the draw cycle that we feel when we're drawing that bow back. And then the only other factor to consider would be loss uh, or an efficiency of the bow. If the bow was less efficient, it wouldn't transfer all that energy to the arrow. It would transfer some to vibration and noise and other factors of that nature. The kinetic energy should be constant for any arrow mass as long as the efficiency of the bow doesn't change. Which begs the question, why the hell does mass matter then? Future videos here, we're going to do a whole series on this. Let's let's try to figure out why does mass matter or does it not matter at all? So if this is something that interests you, maybe consider subscribing, follow along. I do have a background in engineering, so this comes natural and easy to me. And I'm going to do, hopefully, I'm going to try to do a weekly upload here of videos. I do have a day job, so we'll see how that goes. Next week, we're going to talk about drag. I mean, stay tuned if you want to check those out, and uh, we'll see you next week.